Hello and welcome to our Minecraft Hardcore World. I'm Doom Mountain and this is episode 15 from our world. Now guys, last time we managed to build up our lovely uh, church slash brewing sort of house for Chris. Um, right up until the end where we worked out that we didn't actually put any space for him to have a bed. So technically we, we don't know where Chris is going to sleep. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to solve that problem today. Today I want to knock out getting two houses built up. House number one, the one down here, which I'm thinking might be more of an inn or a keep. So we have large amounts of sort of villages that can sleep there and live there and that sort of thing. And you know, that, that's what Chris can stay there instead of going down there. Makes a nice easy solution and yes, while we're looking here, I am going to, um, I am going to relocate my uh, spruce collection probably take that back to the homestead now that uh, we've got a fair bit of it around and um, yeah, so that's just probably what I'll do. And build number two is the one that's basically behind me here that's going to be overlooking our sort of gateway entry, which I still need to make, as well as our docks, which I also still need to make. That might be next episode. I need to go and just farm a whole heap of wood to get all that sort of stuff done, so we might do that between episodes so we can do it for next time. But for this time, I just want to build up a nice just a cozy sort of like a cottage almost thing. I know I said a tower before, but like, honestly, this village is supposed to just be peace and just the keeper of knowledge. So I don't think it needs like big guard towers and that. It's just, it sort of just goes against the purpose of the area. So I want just a nice little nook area kept here where I think we might, we might even just set up an enchanting table just over here. I think that might even be just the way. Just having this as like a nice little just enchanted section of the village. So, what we're going to do today is a enchanted nook as well as a villager inn. Now, I know I said maybe a bit earlier on in the series that there might be an inn down that way, but honestly, I think the traffic that comes from that direction is going to go sort of through the homestead, so it makes more sense to have a bit more of it coming from down there where the traffic would be coming in through this entranceway of the village. All right, now that was a bit of a wordy explanation and intro sort of thing. So let's just get straight into it, right, shall we? All right, so let's start off with the enchanting build because I think that's just gonna be a nice little easy one that we can knock up pretty damn quick. Because, well, we've, it's just a basic house. <laughs> so the first thing is gonna be is work out where we want our entrance. And honestly, I really do like it lining up with this here. So I want our step up is gonna be here. So I want us then to have basically a five by five, but I want to make sure the enchanting table is in the center nice and comfortably. So we've stepped up here, now there's the wall, and then, uh, actually not yet, stepped up here, now here's where the wall will be. So this is the first bit of the floor. So we want our enchanted table to go there. But now let's just get rid of these cobblestones so we don't feel like we're boxed in by it. Okay, so this is where I want my enchanting table to sit. Let's grab up just some stairs around it, like so. Not just stairs, half slabs. All right, so this is basically going to be the space that we have to walk around it because this section here will have to be bookshelves. So let's mark out where our bookshelves are going to go. Okay, so this is going to be the space that we have in here. Um, usually I'll be able to put like a chest or something up on here as well as a grindstone. So all that will fit in with this nice little spacing. All right, so I know that I want my walkway to be in here. So the door will go on this side, which means that all of this is going to be our walls. So let's just go around doing a little bit of plain texturing along here. And let's grab back out now our spruce logs because they're our sort of supporting pillars that come off at the angle. Um, perfect, now that should be how big have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's gonna be a seven by seven square. All right, so what I've just done now is entered in a little walkway, and as you can see, I've missed my own rule because there's a half slab there. Ah, sorry, a path block there so you can see the grass block. But what I'm thinking I might do is just add in a little bit of sneaky lighting underneath that stair. Oh, I still did it, I didn't place in there. Let's place in here, there we go. Now it's all covered up and we still get our lighting from here. Now you can see that this one is also at the same problem. 
So what I can do here is just put the torch under this one. All right, so now we have our support, our beams around. I've gone around and placed in some andesite just to break up a bit of that stone and cobblestone. We have marked out where our enchanting table and our bookshelves are going to be. The next step, which is very, very easy, actually we'll do it with this part first, is now just going up the height of the build. Now, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go up five. It's a nice, easy one. So we just go one, two, three, four, five, and repeat that on all four. Whee! All right, now that we have our four pillars in, let's just join them up like so. Now, windows in this build are pretty well much gonna be non-existent. <laughs> just because it's just gonna be bookshelves covering, covering it up. So, yeah, I don't think it really matters too much. Sorry, this, we just had to really focus on breaking that bamboo. No, I don't think it's going to matter too much that these don't go up one extra height because if we do put in a false window, it's just going to be looking at bookshelves and I don't, I don't necessarily mind if that's the case, but at the same time, it's not a big concern that I have a window in this build. So. All right. Wow, that took a bit of time to eat those potatoes. <laughs> Next step is we just go around and placing in our lovely oak up all the way around. And then we'll come back around and strip it all. I'm having a change at heart, guys. We're gonna put a window in. It is just gonna be looking at the bookshelves, but honestly, I think we, I think we do need that window in there. So, now I just need to come back with some stairs put in here, put in our door, chuck in some glass. Again, I'm not sure if I have colored glass. If I've got some colored glass, I'll chuck that in because it looks a little bit cooler. Um, and then we'll be putting in our enchant table. So let me just go and get those few quick things done right now. All right, guys, so as you can see there, I have added in our roof. I've also added in the windows. I went for the very uh, moody black. <laughs> um, and I think I've also maybe left us a bit of space to even put in some flower boxes. So I've got to go and grab the trap doors, but that's a concept we haven't done since uh, Mark's plays. So I reckon if we just add in the flower boxes around each side, I missed this one here, I might give it a nice little draw in. But it seems that it's raining. Let's uh, work on putting ourselves a roof over our heads. And to do that, I'm just going to jump up here. Now I'm so jump up here. I'm going to put torches because the stairs will allow the light to come through. That will also work on our windows. And then I'm just going to start it off here. And then we're just going to... Oh, can I angle it right? I think I can if I climb down one. Perfect. And do a lip around the stairs. No, a lip. No, don't fail me now. And then once we've done that, we'll add in the uh, half slabs. Now I'm thinking what I might do with the half slabs is even take them up a level. Just so it's not so flat of a roof, or interior roof, I should say. All right, now what we really need to do now is replace this dirt with bookshelves and an enchanting table. And then get a grindstone in here and a book with some lapis. And I think this is pretty well set up, especially internally compared to how I've done everything else. On the outside though, now here is where we're going to, here's where we've got to start doing some stuff. So I want to have Stairs, jungle stairs going like so, and then having our beams coming up before rounding off again with some more stairs. So I'll just place those in for now as I've got them. When I oops, didn't mean to pick up this the strap. We have to go along here to give ourselves a little bit of a like a railing just so you're walking up a bit safe. And continue that on all sides. So let me go grab some spruce trap doors, a bit more of the jungle wood, and let's see if we can do something about that enchanting table and books. I do think though, that we have, in fact, diamonds from one of our, uh, from when we went looking for the Lush Cave last episode. Yep, right here. So, I'm gonna sacrifice just one of them, but I'm gonna do it smartly, guys. I'm gonna get out my fortune, and let's see how many diamonds we can get from just this one. Come on. I think we only got one. We did. <laughs> it's okay, I'm pretty sure we only need one to make the enchanting table. So yeah, let me go grab all those supplies. Hopefully it'll stop raining and then we can come back and just chuck on the roof. 
another easy job and then one building down for today too short oh and another diamond right who was watching this and thought as soon as i got the one diamond, i was like yes that's great we've got a diamond that's all we need we're sitting there going you need two diamonds you idiot damn it all right guys still got to do a bit more of the exterior done as you can see i haven't done any more with the uh jungle but we have put in our flower boxes we just got to actually add the flowers so no we'll just go ahead just like this we just got to chuck in some flowers up into our flower box but inside as i said it's just something nice and easy nice and neat we've got our enchanting table set up here we've got our grindstone i've got some lapis lapis to chuck in there as well as you know i'll donate some books in there in case we need them for the time and yeah so this is pretty well much i think done for this area i might even just enclose this with trap doors just so it yeah feels a bit more neater but i, I kind of like it. it's the windows they are actually a bit more they do give the light into the house still so you can see through them and that so i, I think i just underestimated the power of the imagination for the windows <laughs> but guys look, we've done this one now let me just now quickly what we've got to do is go around and add in those uh bamboo not bamboo the jungle sort of wood action that i was talking about with the stairs and the logs uh logs the fences and then we'll just come back in and chuck in the roof so i'll bring it back in when we're doing that all right guys so i've just gone around added in a just a trap door to the edge of the stairs on the top there so just give it a bit more shape and just a different just a bit more of a pattern now i'm also thinking that i might just go along and strip all of the spruce because i think that might stand out a bit nicer we've also added in a little stairwell just to come up here and have like a little bit of like a, a waiting area seated section so as you can see it's very small cramped space so if one person is working away in there we can just have another person just hanging out here and just chilling out and relaxing i think i might also even just chuck in a cauldron just over here too just just for the flair and just because I can <laughs> that adding that decoration to the side but now for that we've got to add in our roof now for this I am going to need to go and collect up the exact same stuff as I did for our church for Chris so that is the kelp blocks as well as including some uh, deep slate tiled stairs and half slabs which I'm pretty sure are all in one or two of these chests well that's okay Let's get up our trusty pillar dirt, as well as some half slabs at the ready. And I'm going to just go straight up from here. Now I believe that was real, no, yeah, it was this one. Which does mean, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna start it from here. Like that. Okay, so what we did was we went and I'll, we'll go back and do it up. I won't do it till we, at the end, so I'm clear with it. We went stair, upside down stair, upside down block, stair, stair. Okay, cool, cool. Right, so guys, I'm just going to continue on doing this roof pattern, and then we shall meet up. Well, when I'm putting in the kelp. Guys, I messed up the roof. <laughs> you see here, it comes straight smack bang in line. I need this to be up one higher. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to refix up this roof here now, put in the kelp and then yeah so I'll, I'll pretty much just get this finished and show you at the end. As you know it's pretty much the same stuff as what we did last time. I've just now got to fix up this roof so instead of having it this height here, I'm going to keep the pattern of going at like the bell shape but I just got to lift it all up one. So uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in for this towards the end. But for now, I reckon let's jump over and start working over on our villager inn. So I will see you, yeah, over in that project. All right, guys, let's now jump straight on into build number two, which is going to be our villager inn or the tavern. You know, it's pretty much just going to be the communal area where most of these villagers will probably sleep because hopefully, you know, we'll have a few more than the ones that are just currently occupying the area uh, once we free them and let them actually sort of just free roam the village. So just like we did with our enchanting table, let's, uh, chant table, the enchanting house, let's break away these uh, little guidelines of our house so we're not sort of 
feel like we're constrained to working within a set area. Wow. Now for this build, I was thinking that we can have it as a two layered sort of section where we can have the bottom floor being all walled in with the uh, brick and granite. I've also got a bit of the polished granite in there as well to give a bit more of a different texture, just break up in the brick sort of build of it. And we will be again going and outlining everything with the spruce trimming. Now I do want our entranceway to be sort of here. I think this is a nice little line up into it, but I do think that we will need to replace this wall here eventually. I just don't want to feel very cut off from this wall here. So with that case, let's maybe bring back in our entrance way a little bit and we'll mark it off by having sort of the sections over here and then we'll have our stairwell walking up. Now I want to go again like we did with our uh, church. So we'll go out three and then place one. And we'll go out three and place one. Let's get rid of that little stone there. And now again, we're probably going to be touching into the hill on this build. But I don't mind that. Like we can terraform around it and really have it look like our actual village works in with the land, you know. Maybe this land is just sort of over the years slipped a little bit so that's why it's a bit more up against the house than it was when it was first built. Either way, you know, we can still have this as our own little section. Now I've just realised that I want the three stairs but then the walls will need to be along here. Otherwise it's just not going to work with it there. So we've got to bring these out more likely to here. Yes. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> right, this is what happens when you sort of talk things through a little bit. You don't quite think it as far ahead as you should. Pretty sure that's where I need to go there. So we go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have our stairs here. Okay, now we have our entrance marked out and this is going to be pretty much where our whole build is. Now I think I want to make use of having this as a little bit maybe of a patio area. So if in, once we've come in here we might have a little bit of a three wide gap here which is where we'll put our door. So if we mark out our door we, let's just get a dirt block for now. We'll put our door there so then we go out another two and that's really nicely going to line up within keeping this as an ice open sort of porch grass patio area thing. I'm really good at not knowing what it is, so just throwing a whole heap of words at the wall until they stick, but you know, it's gonna work. So we've got this little section out here now, which we can sort of continue on with our pattern. Um, I'm gonna keep the dirt block in there just for the moment to sort of represent that's where the door will be, and then I'll fix that up afterwards. Now, for here, I do want no, that's not going to work there. I do want it to kick out and go around. So we're going to need something like this here. And now that will probably continue out. So one, two, three. Is this a three there? Oh, it goes four, five, and that puts us in line here. So I can continue that in. And I think that gives us our nice, nice side of how much we're going to take up on the hill. And now if I run this back here, let's see how far can we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and that'll put us beautifully in the corner. Let's go again, one, two. All right, now this should be the size of which we've got to work with. I'm now just going to quickly wall off this whole area and remove the excess dirt and earth that we don't need in the space, and I'll bring you back in. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've now put in a bit of a floor as well as our stairwell leading up into the inn. Now, I think that uh, what we're going to do is have the first layer of this, as I was saying, being the uh, granite and the brick sort of work along here. And I'm thinking that we might bring this up. I'm, I don't see why not just do it like normal and have, bring it up five. And then, so, just for example, we're here, let's do it up with this one here. So we'll take it up five, oh, I didn't count any of that, did I? Nope. <laughs> so let's go from the beginning here. We'll go up five, so it's exactly, will bring us up to 30, like so. And then what I'm thinking we might be doing, and what might look cool, is if we, obviously, with spruce, so I'll have to get the right wood, 
But if we bring out some stairs, and then we'll go up another five, so it's, it takes 25, and have it a bit like this. Well, then that way, then we can start up our second level up over, having it up here and giving it a bit more height. So if we go around and have a bit of a look. Yeah, you see, this will really make it stand out and be a nice sort of tall building, as well as giving us some space to actually work with. Now, with it being a, uh, well, gonna be two-story, we need to make sure we get stairs in there. So, let's first off just go and bring this up. So this is already up two. We'll take it up three more, so be one, two, three. And this is where we are going to want our floor to be even. So we now need to get ourselves some, ah, not the right way. <laughs> We need to get ourselves some stairs to be able to angle and walk our way nice and steadily. I'm just gonna get dirt because this is gonna make it easier. All the way down to find where our spot is that we need to put in our staircase. Obviously I'll remove the dirt and I might even, you know, do like a little bit of a broom or like a book, like a closet sort of thing in here because, you know, this is actually quite a nice little space. We have our stairs there, not gonna be in the way. We have them sort of too, too tall, uh, too tall, too wide. So you can have a bit of space as you walk on out up to here. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a tight singular turn as you go out into the rest of the area. But I don't think that's gonna to be too much of an issue. Um, once I've done this, we're gonna to have to put a torch down. But yeah, so this is what we're gonna have as our sort of area to work in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna obviously sleep away the night now and then I'm just going to quickly build up the walls and the frame for this bottom layer here. And then I might even start doing in the shelling of the next layer before bringing these back in. So I'll see you for you guys in a second. It'll be like the next, the next little cutscene. But I'll see you guys probably in a few minutes. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Alright guys, now it has been a little bit of time since our last sort of catch up between the scenes and we have set up and done a bit of work now. Um, I'm going to show you that we have now put up all of our walls for both the layers. We have almost all the windows in. I ran out of a little bit of glass so um, I hope you guys can forgive me until I fix up uh, that little problem there. But as you can see here, we have our brick and sort of air, uh, air, sorry, no, it's granite and polished granite. Uh, layering for the bottom section here and then we have our top section that continues on with the standard sort of stripped oak tradition of everything else. Uh, if we head on in you can see that we've got our little stairway leading up as we did before and now we've got a nice little stairway leading down into this sort of yard area. I'm thinking I might put in a garden or something small just around here. Maybe set up a few bees or something. Not too sure, but you know, I think something around here might be nice and pleasant. Maybe, yeah, maybe a flower garden and some bees. Actually, I might, I might do that there. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> but as we continue on, we've got sort of the, the entrance here for our inn or tavern, so we might set up a desk over here where you can sort of book your room or, you know, get your place where you're gonna be staying, that sort of stuff. We do have the space over here for a little bit of a cupboard underneath the stairwell. And yeah, a lot of space to really work with something in here. Now if we walk on up, we can see here that I've sectioned this off to where we've got our bunk beds sort of here, so pretty much if you're in here you're going to be sharing with someone else, but I, I don't think they're going to really mind too much, so um, that's just how their bedding's going to be, but they're dirt until we put the villagers in their place, because if I place around beds, I know that these guys still have some food in their inventory and they're just going to start breeding and I don't want that right now. But we've got to put in a little bit of a, um, a fence way around here as well to prevent any accidents of villagers falling off the stairs. As well as, for some reason, I've entrusted them with a balcony. Um, I'm going to put fences around here to really, really make sure that they don't fall off. But they, they are villagers, but I thought it might be nice for them. So let's see how long they go before they ruin it and they lose this door. But guys, that's pretty much everything I've done you know, between those little scenes and everything. And now I really want to set off onto the roof. Now, as you can see, we've got this roof here for our church, sort of facing along this axis here. And then if we go up here, we can see our farmhouse has its roof axis along this section here. Um, 
Yes, they are sort of in the same, but you can see the faces are sort of facing inwards. And we have these ones over here facing along this way. I want to continue that sort of trait of having the face of the build sort of being into here and facing out across C. So I think what we might do is go on up here and we will build up our skeleton shape of the house with, um, with you guys at the moment. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put the kelp blocks off camera because you guys don't need to see that. It's pretty repetitive and um, we've done it quite a few times already. But let's get our shape of our roof here. Now I think I'm going to go out one more here. And now we don't want to make the same mistake which we made over there. Um, little sneaker, you can see I did finish that roof. Um, we did it on a live stream, it was pretty fun. But we don't want to make the same mistake we made over there. So we really need to make sure that we line this up correctly this time. So if we do place a block here, right? By the time we step up here, boom. We've cleared that. That was the mistake that I made in the last the Enchanting Hut and I'm glad that now it's not going to be an issue. We're just going to go straight up here. So we've done three stairs and I think I want to maybe do a bit of a belt. So let's go on the upside, make a full block and then we'll make a stair here and then I'm thinking we might even do it again. So we'll do two lots of this. So give a real sort of a bit more of a, a lean up. Before we continue on going, uh, no, nope, that's not the right way, that is. Now, I am fairly confident that I will be in line with centre in two more blocks. So for this, we're just going to continue on. There we go, that's the way I wanted it. <laughs> Up here like this. We get one more in, I think. Like so. Now, does that... Ooh. Here. Perfect. Okay, I've got that torch there now to guide me so we can really make sure we've got the center of this. Ah, oh. <laughs> so I've got the blocks. All right, so we've got one more, and I think what we might do here is go up, up, here, and now we are centered. Like so. Um, try and get that little cool blocky out there. So we go like... Uh, nope, wrong way around. <laughs> you would have thought that I would remember how to make it by now. There we go, and then we can just chuck on a slab like that for this one. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. And then now let's just round this back off by just dropping that down there. And we have one segment of our roof set up. So we went, let's do this together. We went three stairs up normal, followed it up by two blocks. We went up another, I mean, is that one, two, three, and then we went up one, and we were there. All right, so let's now just continue this a four more times. Is this not gonna line up? Is it telling me, is it trying to let me know that this isn't gonna line up? It didn't line up. Oh. <laughs> we forgot that the last one needed to be the block. Okay, it did line up, I was just an idiot. And there we have our Skeletor shape for our roof. Now, what I'm thinking though is, I'm thinking we should maybe try and make another peak. Uh, I'm gonna go down this way so I can try and get the dirt while we're here. Now, I'm thinking this is more just maybe have a skylight in. It might just make a little bit of a window here so it sort of shines in a bit of light upon the people as they're resting. All right guys, so it's the next morning and we now have up our lovely roof shape. Now I've still got to put in the dried up kelp blocks, but as I said, I'm gonna do that before um, off camera before we wrap up everything. So at the moment we have our nice shape in here and I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how it looks. We'll have this one here to sort of angle in a bit of like a sunroof, sort of sunlighting sort of set up. But yeah, I think that might look really nicely. Now what I want to include is the uh, stairs and the jungle sort of fences that we've done everywhere else. A good little spot just to maybe start this off is, is right just here. <laughs> Let's just place it in. We'll go all the way up here with our line this way. And then I think what we'll be also doing, because this is going to lead up to where the railing is. Going to, oh, wrong way. Want to get another upside down one there. And follow it up with a slab. And this is what we'll do for the whole way around the, um, 
house now I've just realized that, that is actually a spruce but we do want it to be jungle to go with our trimming so let me fix that up there like so we've got that in and let's run this along down the bottom now for this section here um, we could do that I'm just thinking a trap door might look better just because of the spacing of it so let's remove this and whack in there a trapdoor lovely but yeah guys so as you can see this is what I'll pretty much just be going around and touching up now uh, before adding in the kelp blocks for the, our roof so I don't think that you guys really need to suffer through watching me place all of these down um, so I think what I'll do is I'll just cut away finish up this section here like so and then yeah guys we'll be back uh, shortly all right guys so after a little bit of time passing i have managed to finish off our roof get the exterior all nice and sort of primped we just need to add a few lanterns around but that's always the case and i did bring some with me so we can put them along as we go along um but you know i haven't finished the interior but that's just a sort of mountain standard at the moment it's mainly because i don't want to place beds around and get any unwanted breeding going on from these guys up here so <laughs> i really basically when we finish up this village i'll go through put all the beds in and everything when we release the villages and that will be just one episode doing all the interiors but for now we're focusing mainly on the exterior which I think I have really nicely blended in. As you can see, we've got all the nice greenery around. We've got our vines that are sort of latching onto the house and sort of will grow up a bit more as time passes. Um, I've only sort of done the terraforming up to about maybe this line here, purely because I think I might aim to just get that all done in one large strip on a live stream. Um, basically, from where I'm standing all the way up to that tree line along the riverbank here, I'm going to try and just get that all whacked out in one stream. I just wanted to get this episode out of the way, finished up nicely before we could work on that. But yes, as you can see, we've got our nice peaked roof, which acts as a bit of a sunlight into our uh, villager rooms and that sort of stuff. As I said, still not had the interior done yet, but we will um, be working on that. All right, as we arrive to our um, entrance of our inn tavern, we've got our nice stairs and we've got our entrance to the back door, which now has a little setup for our bees. So we've got three beehives over here, which we can come up and collect up some honey from because we've got campfires underneath, and just a nice little flowery sort of outdoors area, just to overlook whatever comes over on the hillside over there, but just across the pond. Okay, so this is the outside bee area. Now we have the inside sort of, we'll have a reception area set up over here and a few more storage. As you can see, I have just sort of placed in some chests because I'm going to need to move all the stuff out there and why not just bring it into some extra storage space inside some of the houses I have done. Let's go up to where the bedding and everything is. And as you can see, we've put in our roof and here is our skylight. Now, it did get squished off a little bit by here and I've just tried to emulate it still coming through. You can see that the glass does layer up, but because I really only had the black stained glass, it doesn't, I don't know, it's, it looks like it's tinted, so it comes out all right, and it is night, so yeah, but it's there, it works, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but uh, who's really gonna be seeing this? It's just mainly the villagers. Uh, we've got a little common area here, which I'll set up with some chairs, and we've got a little bit of a nook over here, which I just wanted to put the books in so it would help my mind at ease that this is in set, set in by one. And now we have our outside little balcony area, which I have checked, and villagers should not be able to yeet themselves off of this. I say that and you watch it, Darren. Oh, by the way, over on a live stream, our nitwit villager got named Darren. Um, Darren, I can see him being the one to try and test that theory. All right, so that even now just looks so much better with having the lanterns rather than the uh, torches hang off of the little balcony there. But um, yeah, so I sort of just cut that little bit off there as I finished placing a few of them inside and all that sort of stuff there. So you guys didn't really need to see all of that. Now, before we wrap up this episode, we do need the redemption. My uh, fail needs to be redeemed. Yes, that's what redemption means, Mountain. Um, the enchanting roof. So let's go and check that out. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, as we approach up, it does have a bit of that mystical, magical, enchanted vibe as we walk over. It's very separated from the rest of the village, and we have that nice arching of the trees over here, which I do really like. Um, and we, yeah, we've got everything else is still pretty much the same as where we left it off, but the roof makes sense, and over on the live stream when we fix this up, I decided to do a little cradle to sort of just... I don't know, it was too plain for me, so I just put a cradle there for this. But um, yeah, as you can see, if we go around this side here, you can, it just pops up nicely. We've got a little bit of a, a bump and that sort of thing with the um, the uh, stairs and the half slabs. So it just give a bit more shape and definition to sort of the spine of the roof there. And just break it up a little bit. But yeah, no, it's I'm really happy with it. It's a nice little, just enchanted hut on top of the hill. And yeah, guys, like... Honestly, I can't complain. This episode, we've managed to smash out two builds, which look really, really good and fit in so well with this area over here. Um, I've also decided that um, we need to put in our well somewhere. So you see this infinite water source that we've got over here, which is just sort of in the way with all these chests. Yeah, so when we finished up this section here, or when I finished it up, I turned around, saw the path here, and I thought, smack bang right here will be a beautiful spot to put in a well so i think i'm going to do that in between episodes so that way you guys don't need to see too much more of this space here being built up so that way we're progressing constantly on with the um, village so i'm going to get that done in between episodes and for next time i think we're going to go and start tackling the stone masons uh little cave that we built up so for those of you who might not remember, we um, ended up, uh, when we fixed up the terraforming of the land, we made ourselves a little cave here, which was going to be set up for our stonemasons to be building it. And well, I think that might be just what we step on to for next episode. So until then guys, um, thank you all very, very much for the patience between episodes. Um, I, it is just a bit hard to record while working, that sort of stuff, which I've said before, but you guys are all pretty chill over here and I much appreciate it. Um, if you guys are still wanting to sort of have a bit more regular content from the hardcore world, I do stream over on Twitch at least once a week from this world. So, you know, there's another little spot there if you guys want to check it out. But with all that sort of self-promotion aside and making me feel awkward, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'm really happy with the two builds that we've gotten um, built up yet. Yeah, built up and yeah, until next time, 